come with me and you'll be in a world with pure imagination. Ciao, Princess Silke here. So I particularly enjoy being next to the ocean or in the forest because there's extreme human climates going on. I like humid climates because maybe I can influence because I can influence the climate with my being there. Although I don't think it needs my influencation. <laughs> because it's nature. It has to be great. Unless it's polluted, but no. I actually thrive in tropical climates, very humid, warm climates. I feel best there. So when two people meet, let's, for example, as I started to talk about Adriano Papa <clears throat> last night, he has positive thoughts in his environment and I positive thoughts where I go. Well, there's two people who meet in positive thoughts and maybe communication can happen on different levels. It's that simple. I often brought people who had like negativity going on into positive ways. My, I don't know, by my example, by me not judging, by them maybe be curious. And as they looked, they figured I was not a non-threatening person. So they opened up. I often got like, um, I wouldn't say in-depth, but yeah, more humanistic communications with people, even randomly, once they engaged. And it's always joyful. Everybody feels joyful about it. Maybe they made them better choices. I do never do things to achieve that other people like me. I like to do nice things which are likable. But I don't do it just so other people will acknowledge me. So I'm pure and honest. I'm not sneaky. I'm not a bitch. But it is sad in Mexico City when like the rain season popped in, like in summertime, and the first rain come in, that there were a lot of car accidents. It never made lots of sense. Why would that be? It is probably because Mexicans in general are, yeah, I don't think so, by Antonio Masi. Yeah, because they're like born, no, raised like that. They're sneaky bitches and sincere. So everything with an augmentation as the rain poured in and the environment got more humid. Mexico City, is it's a pretty dry place generally. Yeah, because the lake has long gone. Mexico City was built upon a lake long, long, long gone. So it's probably the augmentation of negativity and negative energy which brought everyone out of balance because they're also very reactive since they always depend on someone else. They're reactive to what happens outside. Whereas I do not depend on what anybody else does. I don't react to things other people do or don't do. Because I don't do stuff. I'm not sneaky and I don't do things so you like me. So whatever shit you pull up, well, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it does influence me, but I'm still me. Yeah, whereas you might get out of balance and become a crazy bitch when you don't know how to handle, or in new environments, I have, I'm just still, even when there is like harsh conditions, I am still and look and observe, and of course in silent, in my silent approach, or non-approach, it just awareness, I intend to reach myself into something nice and positive within my own field to survive the horrible shits around. Yeah, every time. Just like that, I'm a person like that. So I cannot handle harshness and, and, and fight, and I cannot handle strife. I can't handle any of that. So I never fight. And of course, those who want to fight with me don't understand it. Because they don't get it, what I am, what I do, what I don't do. Because they can only so see some themselves. So when I would wish to engage, only to help the person feel better. But of course, when you have no interest and no knowledge and when you're obstructed and obnoxed and when you're blinded by your own hatred or whatever that is you carry around, of course you cannot see what I say, what I do. 
And of course, when you're in that vibration, you're easy to blame others. Instead of being responsible all by yourself. Videos ago, I recorded an entire video, but it wasn't. I didn't record it because I must have pressed the wrong button and it didn't save. I do not remember what it was, but maybe this one was in it. I was asked if, when I was told two days ago that where well, things have changed in my life now. Let's say my pillar is gone and I don't have them anymore, and I have something different. That for sure now. Um, I cried, and I was asked if I cried because of Mr. What's his name, Thailand? Who? And I smile about it. I said, it is good that I was asked because it was so outrageous to be asked to begin with because I wasn't crying because of him. But otherwise, I would not have even had the thought about it and I could probably not remember why I cried or why I didn't cry. And I could not probably tell you because I wouldn't have, have paid loss of attention to it. So no, I didn't cry because of him. I cried. Yeah, why did I cry? Maybe because of the change, or maybe because of the uncertainty, or maybe because of the fear to being left completely stripped off. Because I had always the idea that um, illusion, no. Illusion is just a hint. I had like, well, it felt like a certainty that he is the one, well, he was supposed to be in charge of me and my sustenance. I mean, he's gone. Maybe I'm going to be starving to death now. Can you tell me, please, which way should I go? That depends on where you want to go. I don't even know where I am. 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 Cool cream soup. Taste is cocoa roco. Want me your wife, but she is. Oh, mm -hmm.